Welcome back. It's time for another Dueling Excel Podcast. I'm Bill Jelen from Mr. Excel. We join by Mike Gervin from Excel is Fun. This is episode 119, sort by just month and day. I love this problem. This is a real life problem. Betsy from Olympia, Washington, keeping track of planting dates. She started the spreadsheet last year, uh, you know, and here's how it works, right? She puts in the uh, crop types of variety and hey, we planted this on 422 and 5 row feet, right? Everything's good. Last year she started the spreadsheet, started again this year, and now we actually want to use the spreadsheet, all right, to do some planning, be able to sort this uh, data by desired plant date. Um, Betsy, I, I got rid of your row one up here because it was uh, we needed a, a break between the headings and the title. I could have inserted a row, I just got rid of the, the title. Um, and we sort ascending, and it doesn't work, right? Here's March, here's May, here's June, here's July back to March, what's going on? Well, Betsy had discovered that uh, Excel, when she enters 415, Excel is secretly adding a year, right? So, the things she entered last year have 2012, the things she entered this year have 2013. Uh, how do we stop that, right? We don't want Excel uh, to add that year or is there some way to sort by month and day? All right, now, Betsy's solution, Betsy's solution, which I think is brilliant, I never realized this would have worked is control H for find and replace, change area occurrence of 2012 to 2013 and replace all and sure enough that actually uh, works. I can't believe that that works but it works. All right, so our solution has to be easier than that solution. Oh, I don't know if it's going to be but um, uh, uh, you know, I had a couple of ideas. I thought maybe a macro, a worksheet change macro that grabs the date 315 and puts it back to 1900 all the time. Or a macro here, select these dates, uh, hit the icon in the quick access toolbar and it converts everything to the current year. That would be an easy little macro. Uh, but I'm going to give uh, credit to Sam Rad from the Excel team. Sam came up with this idea. Uh, we go back to formatting this in the way that Betsy wants it formatted, just month and day. I'm going to take that data, Control C, New Workbook, Control N, and control V. So there's our original, and I'm going to format this as text. Does Betsy have to do this every single time she wants to sort? No, this is a one time thing. Actually, I'm going to make it a two time thing because uh, I need to prove that it works, and then we'll do it for real. Uh, so there's the text that we want to display, and then I'm going to do a sort by, and this is going to be equal to the text of, whoops, equal text of that in MMDD format. That we have something to sort by. Good, we'll sort this data A to Z. I'm going to copy these formulas, Control C, come out here, pay special values, and get rid of the duplicates. There's only one, so I can delete the row. All right, so here's the text in the proper way to sort this. Sam, I can't believe this works. File, Options, Advanced, scroll all the way down to the bottom where we can see Edit Custom Lists and import that as a custom list. I'm like, no, there's no way this will work. Let me show you how it works. So we come back and we now select our data set, data, sort. I want to sort by desired plant date. Yes, sort on values. Yes, but not oldest to newest. I want to use custom list and sort by that list. Click OK, click OK, and it actually does it. It actually sorts the right way. Okay, so now that we have proof of concept, I'm like, well, hey, Sam, that's not going to work. Custom lists only allow 96 items. Not true. They allow 254 items. Well, that's not the whole year, ah, but it looks like the planning season goes from March 15th. She's in Washington, after all, um, maybe to September 1st. Who knows? Let's come back here to our spreadsheet, and we're going to enter from the earliest possible date. Let's even go 3-1-2013, and I'll grab the fill handle, and I'll drag down to row 255. See how far we get, so that's 254 rows, and it gets us out to November 9th. I'm sure Betsy's not planning anything after November 9th. Uh, the ground is frozen by then, so we use our text format here. I don't even have to use the sort by because I already know it's sorted correctly. And we'll copy that and Alt ESV to convert to values. Uh, that range is selected, File, Options, Advanced. Scroll down to the bottom, edit custom lists. Let's get rid of the tiny list I just put in there. Delete and import this big list, all 254 items. 
do this once on this computer and you will be good to go forever. Now back in our original data set, uh, we have to use the sort dialog box once, desired plant date, sort on values, uh, custom list is this list. That's weird, why didn't that one go away? All right, click OK, click OK. Oh, that's because it's already, that's funny. Now, now that I've sorted by that, I can actually go in and delete the custom list. Uh, and now if we add something new next year, uh, what uh, dill and this, and we do it on 329 of 2014, and plant uh, three lineal feet of that. Now when I sort, I should just be able to click A to Z, and it remembers the custom list. So I can still sort with a single button. Uh, and we're good to go. Uh, Betsy says, hey, while I'm at it, how to get the grid lines to show back in the green cells. Uh, yeah, those grid lines disappear once you fill the cell. Even if you fill the cell with white, you're going to lose the grid lines. It's any fill uh, kills the green line. So even the white, see, it gets rid of the grid lines. Uh, the best way to, to bring those back, well, you're not really bringing them back, you're replacing them with a border. Just open this little border drop down here and choose all borders and uh, you'll have uh, grid lines that appear. You know, hey, if those are too uh, too much for you, control one, go to the border tab and we can change to uh, light gray and then do inside and outline, click OK and it looks just like the regular grid lines. Oh Mike, wow, I took six minutes and 40 seconds. Let me throw it over to you. Thanks Mr. Excel. Oh man, I'm going to give you three points. Actually, no, what I'll do is I'll give you a point, I'll give Sam a point for that awesome custom list. And I'm going to give a point to Betsy, too, for showing us that find and replace can take these serial numbers and actually replace the 12 with the 13. Absolutely awesome. Now, I'm going to add an extra helper column and convert this to a table so that formula, which is going to be in our helper column, will be automatically copied down. And then we just have a column we can sort upon. Now, this first row here may interfere with the sorting, so I'm going to insert, actually, I'm going to click in a single cell and use Alt-I-R to insert a row and then Alt-I-C to insert a column. Now I'm going to call this sort and I'll just use the text function. The text function is great. It takes a value, which is a serial number, comma, and we just have to create a custom number format in double quotes. So I'm going to put MM dash DD, something like that. So now it'll show me not the serial number, but a text that has 01 dash 01 for January 1st, etc. So let's see if this works. Copy down. So now I can sort upon this column here. Now I'm going to convert it to a table. Control T, single cell, right? Control T and uh, click OK. So now I have a column here I can sort upon based on these dates over here. So just A to Z. And there we go. If I come down here, I can either just click below here, 10. Oops, that one's going to auto populate. I'm going to say uh, beans here. And then uh, and we'll say 10-1 or something like that. Uh, row feet 10 and then whatever else. And so there we can see we have auto populated our formula. I can come up here and sort A to Z. It looks like it was already sorted. I could do uh, Z, uh, Z to A. All right, throw it back to Mr. Excel. Hey, all right, Mike, that was good. Points all around. Points to Betsy. I love that. Uh, uh, sorting the or doing a find and replace on the, the year of the dates. Um, Sam Rad, awesome trick with the custom list. Uh, Mike, great uh, tip with the control T table there to uh, make the formula go down. Also, uh, while I just deleted Betsy's title, uh, I like how you explained how um, we need that blank row between the title in row one and the headings in now row three. All right, well, hey, I want to thank everyone for stopping by. We'll see you next week for another Dueling Excel podcast from Mr. Excel and Excel is Fun.